The river's tent is broken. The last fingers of leaf clutch and sink into the wet bank. The wind crosses the brown land unheard. The nymphs are departed. Sweet Tam, run softly till I end my song. Today I'm going to be creating some of T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland, an excerpt of that, using water from the Thames under pressure and wooded stencils to blast the words into a jetty that runs into the Thames. That you can make a visible mark by removing what's already there. I wanted to flip around how artists created stuff on the street, so you removed the criminal aspect of it and replaced it with, uh, with a restoring process to see how, how people reacted to it. But really, it's just to make, make something really beautiful, just to cheer people up a little bit and show them that there's beauty everywhere, really. Today is the uh, last day of the Thames Festival, the last day of the Paralympic Games, and the first day of the beginning, I hope, of a, of a long project which we hope will cover the Thames in poetry. Our poetry is our cultural legacy to the world. Our language and our poetry is the great export that we've had to the world. And um, whenever I see poetry in place, it stops me and it makes me think. And so that's why I think it's so pertinent to have poetry carved and cast and painted into the landscape around us. Wouldn't it be wonderful if, as the tide comes um, down lower and lower and lower, if it revealed the most enchanting line of poetry you could read across the river from here? There's a famous poem by John Keats called Upon Westminster Bridge, which I hope one day we'll be able to put on Westminster Bridge just up there. I think the idea of carpet and the nation in poetry is a wonderful idea because poetry is always around us anyway. It's not something that starts and ends with a book. Book's just one way of accessing poetry. It was nice to read such lovely words in a, such a powerful place as the River Thames. I think it's great that it's here. I think it could be, you know, even on high streets, on places that people walk on every day. Like the entire facade covered in words. It'd be amazing if we could have more uh, projects like that where we can be inspired by words everywhere. Sweet Thames, run softly till I end my song. Sweet Thames, run softly, for I speak not loud or long. <laughs>